Welcome to the BYU Family History Library. This video provides instructions for using the Sony Hi-Fi Stereo Video Hi-8 Cassette Recorder EV-C100NTSC and the Elgato Video Capture Software to scan, convert, and transfer the contents of a Hi-8 video cassette or a standard 8mm cassette to your flash drive, external hard drive, or online storage website. The designation NTSC comes from the first American standard for analog television broadcasting that was developed by National Television System Committee, or NTSC. Because the Sony Video Hi-8 cassette recorder is being used to scan and convert digital images, in this presentation, it may be referred to as a scanner or converter. Before explaining the details of the process, here are some of the general instructions. The BYU Family History Library has a very useful collection of electronic equipment for scanning and digitizing books, documents, photographs, photographic slides, 8mm and Super 8mm movie film, VHS cassettes, 8mm video cassettes, audio cassettes, and Betamax tapes. All this equipment is available for use by patrons of the library, free of charge, during the time the library is open. However, it is best to contact the library through its website and click on the link to the scanning equipment page to check equipment availability. If you have a BYU login, you can use this page to reserve a time to use the equipment. If you do not have a BYU login, then you can see the times available for using the equipment and contact the Family History Library Help Desk to make a reservation. Please be aware that much of what you find online is protected by copyright law. You are responsible for determining if any specific records are covered by some country's laws. Becoming aware of the copyright restrictions that apply to the records you are interested in digitizing is an important part of being a responsible researcher. Each machine may have its own way of storing the digitized images or audio files they produce. Make sure you know how and where your files will be stored before you start digitizing and scanning. If you are uncertain about saving your files, you can also ask for help at the help desk. The BYU Family History Library computers will automatically erase any data stored on them when you log off, so it is advisable to use your own flash drive, hard disk drive, or online storage website to store your scanned images. The help desk has helpful get started instruction sheets for using the equipment. Please take a moment to review the instructions before starting to use the equipment. The operation of the scanner or converter is controlled by the Elgato video capture software, and so you will not need to adjust the equipment's manual controls unless instructed to do so. Here is a diagram of the front and rear of the scanner for your information if needed. The page references are to the pages of the manual, which is available online. Before beginning the transfer process, you should determine if your storage device has enough available memory. Digital transfer of the average 90-minute movie will take about 7 to 8 gigabytes of storage, but this amount of available storage may vary depending on the resolution of the target video. So you may wish to use a larger capacity device to allow for both higher resolution and longer videos. Log into the computer with the Sony Hi-Fi Stereo Video Hi-8 cassette recorder. Make sure the Elgato Game Capture HD60 Series 3 hardware is plugged into the recorder and the computer. If you need help, please ask at the help desk. Turn on the scanner using the power button on the front panel of the scanner, then insert the cassette tape into the cassette compartment. If necessary, rewind your cassette tape using the Sony Hi-Fi Stereo Video Hi-8 cassette recorder. 
turn the reverse or rewind ring to rewind the tape in your cassette. If you need help, please ask at the help desk. The Elgato Game Capture program will not run unless the headphones are plugged into the computer. You may wish to run your cassette tape to make sure the audio is on. Then rewind your cassette. Double-click to open the program called Elgato Video Capture. Give your video a title and choose the appropriate length. Click on the Preferences selection at the bottom of the window and choose a save location from the new window. You may also make some additional adjustments by using the Audio and Video tabs on the Preferences window. If you change either the video or audio preferences, you may need to rewind your cassette tape and start the scanning and converting process over. Adjusting the gain adjusts the volume of the content of the cassette tape. Close the Preferences window and then click the Continue button. Make sure the input is set to Composite and adjust the aspect ratio if needed to the format of your video, then click Continue. Put on the headphones and make sure you can hear your video's audio. Make any needed adjustments in the Preferences window and then click OK. Make sure your video is at the beginning and click the red Start Recording button. Click the Stop Recording button when you are finished. Use the slider bar to trim the video if needed and then click Continue. Wait for your video to save and then choose Quit or Again if you have more videos to scan. Verify that the video was recorded on your storage device. When you are finished, make sure you eject your video and eject your flash drive or hard drive. We thank you for your interest in using the equipment in the BYU Family History Library and hope that you will take advantage of the opportunity provided to preserve your ancestral heritage. Keep learning and thanks for watching.